I'm here with the director of the Melbourne Writers Festival, Lisa Dempster, on the last day of the festival. Uh, Lisa, how's it all been going? It's been going beautifully. Uh, we've had 10 enormous days of thought-provoking conversations, uh, lots of fantastic discussions, fun events, uh, a few parties, so we're feeling a little bit tired now, but very happy to see the city come to life with literature. Mm. And so a festival like this, which is all centred around reading and mm. writing, uh, what does that mean for Melbourne? Oh, that's a really interesting question. I mean, one of the things that we've seen coming out of the festival over the last 10 days is a really strong focus on ideas and topics, I guess. So some of the emerging topics that have come out are, you know, who is Australia, where is Australia going, um, the values of Australia. Um, and partly that was because we had a theme of identity. Yep. And so when I think about what the festival can do for a city, it's provide a platform for those public discussions that are so important to have um, alongside you know media and things that happen in government and stuff like that just that opportunity for people to come together and think about ideas and talk about ideas as well we're here in Fed Square yeah. and we've got Roald Dahl Day going on around us there's thousands of children and yeah. some grown-up children um, and to create those moments in the city as well that are so accessible that you know inspire kids to come along and sort of open up their mind to literacy and reading uh, it's just so important and Melbourne of course is a city of literature it's mm. been talked about a lot what is what do you think that offers to to the, uh, to the city? Uh, well, I love the fact that Melbourne is a city of literature uh, because I am a massive book nerd, of course. I love reading. Um, we've had the delegation or the designation for 10 years now. And I think what it really means for Melbourne is that the city uh, and the state government really support mm. reading, publishing, book selling. Uh, and that's just so important for you know our economy, for our lives, for our civic lives, all those kinds of things. And to live in a city that still has independent bookshops is amazing in itself. Mm. We've got great libraries here and just so much access for people to be able to read or discover literacy and ideas in some way. And so that uh, it, it goes beyond literature, it, it extends into the area of ideas and Yeah, creativity. definitely. I mean, I think literature is all about ideas. I mean, mm. you might be reading a very creative novel and, you know, at the festival we have some events that do focus on the process of writing and creativity and things like that, uh, but all writing, whether it's journalism, novel, poetry, it just opens up that world of ideas, doesn't it? And yeah. I mean, for me, literature is the way I sort of understand the world and the sort of contemporary world and then the broader kind of emotional world and things like that so yeah, yeah. I guess it's, it's language a lot isn't it, it yeah helps you to explain understand yeah and, and to express yourself and I mean I think one of the things people feel when they read is that sense of like oh I feel like that too but I've never thought mm. to express it in that way and so you're having these sort of constant connections between ideas and emotions and thoughts that you're having internally and it helps you yeah bring them out the, the festival format itself having this mm. over two weeks mm -hmm. uh, packed with events yeah, immersed, absolutely. I and I sort of talked earlier about the emerging themes and across 10 days we're really able yeah. to go deep and explore a lot of issues. Um, we've got great social marketing, uh, social media support on the festival and so that conversation can actually be taking place here at Fed Square but also, mm. you know, taking place in sort of the broader city and broader communities as well. And do you find it, it starts to loop back, the things that have gone out of the festival come back yeah, in? Yeah, definitely. And we see uh, ideas loop throughout the festival as mm. well. So we had Maxine Beniba clark do our opening night address talking about uh, diversity in Australia and in publishing in particular uh, and a lot of the themes in her speech were sort of picked up when Richard Flanagan did a keynote address right. asking where is Australia going. Uh, so it is sort of interesting to see how writers are feeding off each mm. other and feeding off what the public want to talk about as well and that's really what it's all about. Uh, the role of creativity and arts in, in, a, in a growing city. I mean, it's everything, right? Mm. I couldn't imagine living in a city that didn't have a thriving art scene. I think it would be quite a miserable place. I think cities need a really sort of strong artistic ecology. So you need your major institutions mm. right down through to the tiny little independent festivals and, you know, fringy kind of things. And you need to have it happening at all levels. Uh, and I think festivals are just such an important part of that because they're a sort of call to action for people yeah. to come along and try something out um, but also a moment in time and a celebration yeah. where you can really just immerse yourself in something maybe discover something new and then follow that thread into you know the rest of life into other yeah. galleries or libraries or wherever it might take you yeah until next year until next year exactly <laughs> well lisa until next year congratulations yes. on a great Thank festival you so much. see you next year yep looking forward to it